And where would a clock like this with a music box specially made with the Haydn's help? In a royal castle. Yeah. Okay. The, this was from the, the Esterhazy Empire, yeah. uh, which is nowadays uh, uh, Austria and, and Hungary together. Okay. Uh, and, and he had one of these clocks in his castle. He had three of them built. And this is one of them. Some kind uh, of vampire lord. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in a way. <laughs> no. Vampires have a lot of money. Yeah, 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 yeah. and a lot of They lived for a long time. So shall I play it? Yes, Yes. Yeah? Okay. Welcome to a fancier version of Music Machine Mondays and it's only fancy because we're looking at the Haydn Nimitz mechanical organ. This is one of the true highlights for the visitors of the Spielcock Museum because the rumor says that Haydn was in the room when the programming pins was put into this cylinder. So here we go. <laughs> This is uh, one of the most special instruments of the museum. This is an organ clock, uh, but as you can see, there's no clock around it. But we know that this was attached to a clock, because you can see that on the mechanism that it ha uh, was once uh, initiated by a clock. So it would be turned on by a clock at the hour or every half hour, for instance. Okay. We think, and we know almost for certain, that it was that clock that it had been put inside. Okay. But since we're not sure, we can't say like it was really that clock, but we're almost we're like 98% certain. Yeah. Right. But the special thing about that clock is that it was built by a clock builder called Nimec. He lived in what we would call Hungary today. Yeah. And he was a, a librarian. And at the castle where he was a librarian, the composer who worked there as a, as a director for the orchestra, his name was Josef Haydn. Okay. And the music on this organ clock is also from Josef Haydn. And we're pretty certain that Haydn sat next to it when the music was put on. Wow. And that Haydn said, well, this is exactly the way that I want to hear it. Uh, this, this, is, this is what I intended. Now, of course, we never have that anymore. Uh, when we have sheet music nowadays from that period, there's a lot of stuff missing. You don't know how fast they wanted to play it, for instance. Uh, that's why there are so many different versions of the Matthäus. Uh, because yeah. you can play it fast, you can play it slow, and nobody knows what the correct way is. Well, with this clock, we know that it can't play any slower than this. So this is probably the way they wanted to hear it. So this is actually a time machine. This is a time machine. Back to exactly how Haydn was thinking yeah. he wanted the music sound. But there was a problem when we got it. Okay. And that's the cylinder. Those cylinders are made out of wood. And wood starts moving after a while, starts expanding, for instance. Yep. And then you get tears in the wood. And it, it becomes the shape of an egg. And you can't play it anymore. Okay. So the cylinder that was on it, couldn't be played anymore. Now, that was at the beginning of the 1990s. Uh, so in 1993 we bought it and after that we took out the original cylinder. We still have it of course somewhere. Uh, it's displayed very nicely. But we scanned the whole thing with uh, laser techniques yeah. and then we uh, built a reproduction of it. That's to the millimeter exact how the original would have been if it wouldn't have been an egg form. We could wow. of course calculate it with computers. And then we built a new one for it. The biggest question of course was which kind of wood to use. So they used walnut wood in the end, uh, which turned out to be the best wood, the most, uh, the most uh, sustainable. And we got it playing again. Wow. After like 100 years of not being able to hear it, not being able to play it, uh, we got it playing again by putting in a new cylinder, which is pretty rough thing to do, of course, as yes. a museum to replace, really replace a cylinder. But we thought, well, we wanted to hear the music. We don't want to display it and have it not play. Uh, so we can play the music again on it. The Haydn mechanical organ is built in 1793 by Nimitz in Austria and it is one of the most famous instruments of the Spielflock Museum. The melodies on this organ is composed by Josef Haydn, the classical composer, and we believe that Haydn himself listened to the instrument, ensuring that his compositions were sounding as intended. So the thing that is so special with this is that now, over 200 years later, this instrument can be seen as an original recording and we can still listen to Haydn's music performed in exactly the way he wanted it. Since all this was long before the recording technologies evolved, you can see this as the first official Haydn recording. So here I see 
that there's more pins than there are registrators. Yeah, so you can move the, uh, the cylinder a bit and then another melody comes underneath the keys of the keyboard. Uh, so for every note, you've got a different track. Is it all uh, music from Haydn? Yeah, it's okay. all music from Haydn. So yeah. it's like seven, seven different songs? Yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. So shall I play it? Yes, yeah? yes. Okay. So that's it. That's actually sound very, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> We got a lot of discussion after we restored it about uh, the tempo, but this is really the slowest it can get because the musicologist said that it, this was way too fast. But this is what people liked in those days, to have it in a tempo that was not really playable, that couldn't be played by a humans. Oh. That's what they liked mechanical music to do, okay. to play unplayable music. Which is exactly what we do with techno and MIDI Yeah, now. in a way, yeah, 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 yeah. That's also kind of unplayable, it's like the timing. Wow, and uh, I mean, what's this? Yeah, that's why you're a museum. It's like you, you, you display all the fancy instruments, all the top of the bill instruments, but you can't have a museum without also playing the, the, the instruments that were used in marketplaces that weren't really high class. Yeah. So this is like a low class market organ. Uh, this would be used to, well, they used it to attract visitors to a stand. I'm not sure it worked because it sounded like this. <laughs> It doesn't really have an ending, that's the bad thing about it, you it can't just stop playing it. <laughs> Well, it sounds better than my marble machine does now when it's retired, so I'm, I would well, not I think complain. it's a tie. <laughs> okay. A tie. In the next episode, we're taking a look at another mechanical masterpiece. Thanks to our friends at Spilcock Museum, and thanks to you for watching.